Well, actually, funny. Probably until <laughs> the Republicans lose control of the Senate and the Congress, which yes. could happen in, in 18 months' time. OK. Uh, bad blood, the eye tells us. The Prime Minister ordering this inquiry into NHS deaths, which go back decades now. This is an absolutely horrendous um, story. As you, as you said, there's going to be um, a proper investigation into this and um, this is something that people have been calling for a long time MPs like Diana Johnson, Andy Burnham, Paul Goggins have been pushing for this for a long time. Huge number of people have, were affected and um, many got HIV, some of them developed full-blown AIDS, many died. I mean it's an absolutely horrendous story and the worry is now that um, people are worried that there may have been a cover-up in terms of you know wrongdoing and people covering their tracks and also there is real worry about how a lot of the victims were treated over this time period some people who through no fault of their own contracted you know go HIV through this blood they were smeared mm -hmm. and there was allegations made you know about different things to do with their lives which is completely not true so I think this is going to be a lengthy and quite painful and difficult and uncomfortable investigation. And it dates back to a time when HIV and AIDS was little understood and there were not the antiviral medications, so that's why people mm. died and others clung on waiting for the correct medication to help prolong or save their lives, didn't they? Yeah, and, and there's, there's obviously the, the, the initial appalling failing which led to you know, 2,400 people losing their lives with infected blood, uh, which is horrendous. But you know, you know, what is you know, up there with badness and evil is then the cover-up. And this is why it has so many you know, repercussions and echoes of, of Hillsborough. Mm. You know, the, the way that you know, hospital authorities, uh, medical bodies, mm. then would you know, doctor patient records, tell outright lies to try and cover, cover their own tracks is absolutely unforgivable. And, and, then, and then the families having to live with these lies, knowing their lies for, again, 30, 40 years. Yes, and that is the suspicion here, isn't there? There's information arriving in the National Archives which perhaps begins to point to some sort of cover-up, which is why the inquiry has been launched now. But yeah, uh, absolutely. And I think the victims and the families, particularly the um, people who've died and who, mm. you know, went with their reputations having been besmirched, essentially. Families of Yeah, fa else. absolutely, yeah. and families who felt that, you know, not only had they lost their loved one under very awful circumstances, mm. but there was a sort of mm. stain cast over them as well, a very unfair smear against them. So this is going to, this is a very necessary um, inquiry, and I really hope that it gets to the bottom of it without fear or favour. Mm. Okay, plenty so